Hey, what's up, everybody? I just wanted to hop on here and talk about posture. With my last post about the, the posture braces, seemed to be a lot of confusion about what the proper posture is, why those things are not good, and uh, what we need to do. Really, there's no easy way to explain this because everything that I learned before, it took me a while to unlearn that. And uh, what, I, what I mean by that is that we oftentimes look at the body as a machine or a piece of furniture where if a table is wobbly, you just stick like fold a napkin under a, the wobbly table leg or the short table leg and then boom, it's fixed. Uh, the problem with that is that our bodies aren't like that. Our bodies have muscles on both sides that are different lengths. Our joints and bones have, are in different positions that cause different forces on left and right sides. And then on top of that, we have a brain, a brain that processes information differently from person to person based on their experience, their traumas, all of that. And we're emotional. We have emotion that can influence all of this stuff. So if you have a bad day or you get stressed out or you have the best day of your life, your, your body is going to be different in those given situations. On the surface level, putting a strap on your chest that puts you into this position, seems like it would do the right thing. It would, it would help posture, it would help you sit taller and all of that. But let's just say it's twofold of a problem. Number one, when you use a brace of any sort, you're usually taking away from the active portion. So everything's passive, something else is holding you there, so you're not using your muscles. Wearing an ankle brace for prolonged periods of time can make you more susceptible to an ankle sprain eventually when you take it off, right? Uh, that's number one. Number two, more importantly, it puts you into extension for a long time, which is not necessarily a good thing. So I'm going to try to explain it two different ways, as simple as possible, um, although this conversation could go real deep and it could take hours and hours. But when you are in one position for too long, you start to overuse or you start to be locked in that position. So we as human beings, we're not designed to stay in one position for a long time. We're designed to move, be active. That's why exercise is good for you because you're constantly, whether you're running, whether you're lifting weights, whether you're playing sports, you're constantly moving. And that's why uh, the question of how should I sit or stand, there's no real answer to that. You gotta constantly move. We weren't designed to sit for eight hours. Only recently we get paid a lot of money to sit for a long time and, and that's causing problems. If you sit on an airplane for too long, your butt hurts, it goes numb. It's telling you to get up and move. If you don't, eventually you'll get like pressure ulcers and things like that, like rashes on your skin because you're not getting any oxygen to that area. So that's number one, we're designed to move. This, this locks us in that position. Number two, when you're in this position, our back muscles are shortened our front muscles, like our abdominals, are lengthened, let's just say. And I'm just using these words kind of liberally, but they're less on in the front, more on in the back or shorten in the back. Now, our back muscles are constantly working to keep us upright, meaning if we didn't have our back muscles, we would fall flat on our faces. So our back muscles are constantly working. So I'll think about it as an, an employee that never has time off. They're working seven days a week and they're working overtime. And then you put them in this thing, so now you're taking an overworked employee and giving them more work. And so oftentimes that can have the reverse effect where people get in more pain, where they, their posture gets even worse. They start slouching even more uh, as a result of that. One in particular, uh, she came to me for posture. Her posture was like this. Um, uh, visibly and she said on day one hey I want you to help me with my posture I'm, I'm rounding and I can't seem to stop it so the exercise I gave her was to get on all fours round her back and breathe into her back and while she was doing that she told me this seems counterintuitive this seems like we're going in the wrong direction and I just said hey trust me just let's just breathe for a few minutes so we breathed for about five minutes in that position. And when she stood up, she, to me, I could tell instantly she was taller. And she looked at me and she grinned and she said, I feel taller. And she was very confused. All we did was turn off her back muscles and give them a break for a little bit of time. So imagine someone that's overworked and you just give them a day off. They're gonna come back and work even better, work even harder, they're more efficient. When you overwork muscles, they become less efficient. When I work on posture now, it, I, I, I never do this.
never do this because now you're just working those muscles that are always working. After all, movement and posture is all subconscious. So to, to tell someone, hey, stand like this, hold your shoulders back, now you're taking something that's subconscious and then you're adding a lot of effort to it where they're constantly focused on something that should be subconscious. Whereas that patient of mine, she stood up and I didn't tell her anything. She just said, I feel taller. Subconsciously, her body was able to interpret uh, a new input and process it differently. And so she was able to stand up taller without any cues of pulling shoulders back, neck back, nothing like that. It help, that helps explain why a uh, strap on your chest, pulling your shoulders back isn't good for you. It's locking you up into extension and it's limiting movement and it's also compressing your back and overworking an already overworked system. So hope that helps. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me anytime. I love to talk about this stuff.